Hi, and welcome to Bits of Blender. I'm here with my boy Richard. Hello. We're going to do a quick tip on the curve modifier. Let's tab in. And we're going to do a ring cut with Control R. And I'm going to mouse wheel to create a whole bunch of ring cuts. Type A to select all. And S to scale. And I'm going to scale along the X, typing X. I'll tab out of it, and I'll hit Shift A. Although I was really tempted to hit the space bar. <laughs> I'm really trying to get out of that practice. And I'm adding a Bezier curve. I'm going to hit Z to go into wireframes. So I can see it. Then I'm going to type R to rotate 90 degrees along the X axis. Enter. And then I'll hit 1 on the number pad to look at it straight on. I'm going to scale this along its z-axis, so s, z, let's make it a little bit thinner. It's a lot thinner. <laughs> and then uh, what I'm going to do is say add modifier, curve, and I'm going to tell it what object it should curve to. And it happens to be called curve. The way I know that is when it's selected, you can see right down here it's called curve, or if you hit n you can see the object name is curve. Uh, you can see it's not exactly the way we want it, but we can go on here, click curve stretch. Now, I, it, it stretches the object to the length of the curve. Cool. Right now it's a 2D path. Uh, we can make it a 3D path, and then you'll see little arrows on there. Uh, the 3D path will just allow you to move that curve in 3D space. Rotate our object there. <laughs> it looks kind of cool. I'll hit Z and uh, we can go ahead and say tab out of that. Right click on our object. Set smooth. We can add a subsurface modifier. We can bump up the levels there. And uh, you might like it better if you put the subsurface modifier first on the stack. So there you go. Looks like a nice little blanket. <laughs> <laughs> yep. See you next time. Pretty cool. Bye.